Assalamualaikum alaikum and hi. Uh, dear friends, travel from Islamabad to Doha via Muscat. I landed at the new Muscat International Airport. I would like to tell you something, but in very brief, about new Muscat International Airport. It was officially uh, opened on 20th March 2018 and on 11th of November 2018. During a month 48 National Day, uh, the official grand opening was celebrated. The airport features Omani themed architecture, state of the art technologies, and exceptional passenger experience. Dear friends, currently, Muscat International Airport has initial annual capacity for 20 million passengers with an expansion potential for 75 million passengers per annum. A fairly great number. And I would like to some, uh, tell you about the core features of this airport uh, and some of the, uh, uh, some of the key features or care features uh, of the 580,000 uh, 580, square kilometer passenger terminal include three uh, parts linked by a central area, 12,000 square kilometer food and beverage area, an A side hotel with capacity of 90 rooms and two first level car parks. A new 4 km long runway has been built to accommodate wide body A380 and Boeing 747. Airport's southern runway has also been uh, rehabilitated, increasing its length to 4 km, making it usable by wide body aircraft. 32,000 square kilometer cargo, cargo terminal was built as part of the airport with a capacity of around 350,000 tons per year with the potential to expand to 500,000 tons per year. Really amazing airport. Um, I'm recording just the duty-free shops and moving from here and there because my transit time is very short and can't record the airport in detail. So once I go back from uh, Doha to Islamabad, I'll try to capture in detail. And guys, really, uh, this airport is amazing. And remember, nowadays in Middle East, airports are the gateways to penetrate into the uh, countries in the Middle East. Um, they are competing each other, like in Abu Dhabi midfield terminal is uh, about to complete. And it's almost completed. Uh, and in Qatar, Hamad International Airport over here, New Musk International Airport in Saudi Arabia, you'll find airports in Jeddah, Riyadh, Medina, uh, in brief, uh, competition is superb going on uh, in between uh, these countries. And avi aviation is the hub. And a a uh, what I believe that airports, especially the retail industry inside the airports, help to generate the wealth for the uh, country. And it's a uh, kind of, you can say, that support given to the uh, economy as well. Um, amazing, lovely airport. Um, it has a lot for uh, the passengers. Um, unique themes you'll find in this airport. Uh, uh, once I uh, come back from Doha to Islamabad, I'll try to capture in detail again, I repeat. But whatever I can bring for you, I'm trying to do it.
and people over here are enjoying the environment because the environment is uh, uh, very much uh, different from other airports. Each airport has its own flavor, guys. Like Hamad International Airport has its own flavor, the, then this New Musk International Airport has its own flavor. Dubai International Airport has its own flavor. Heathrow Airport has its own flavor. Beijing International Airport has its own flavor. Islamabad International Airport has its own flavor. And uh, the retail industry uh, try, uh, not tries, adds to the uh, attraction of the passengers. They attract more and more customers. And people usually, even if they don't buy anything, they just come around, walk, uh, see the things, uh, uh, and move around. They enjoy. In brief, they enjoy. You can find restaurants over here, food court. And lovely food over here. I love Ar uh, Arabian food. And guys, whenever I used to travel, uh, from UAE to Pakistan uh, in 2012, 13, 14, uh, not in 2012, I traveled, I traveled in 2011, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, then 17, in 18, not, uh, uh, yeah, in 18, I used to uh, have long transits. Uh, at Muscat International Airport. At that time, uh, it was an old building. You can find the old building vlogs uh, as well over my YouTube channel. And that uh, building was also amazing. And, you know, I used to, other than this, sometimes I used to do transit at uh, Ahmad International Airport which also has a lot for here, the passengers and let's keep on moving guys mm. yes it's uh, the duty free shop over here is almost uh, similar as uh, similar to the duty free shops at the other airports but what the difference is the environment is the way the airport is constructed the way the peop the passengers are welcome the way uh, shops are uh, set up decorated the way the seating arrangement is done the gateways are uh, uh, well designed then you can see the airfield as well and you'll find the Aerotel Hotel inside for those who have a transit of more than 24 hours they can stay over here stay in the hotel um, I just I'll just try to purchase you chocolates for my friend and it's amazing Super. Uh, I love the food. I have the food over here, uh, but again, I repeat, due to short time, I could not capture each and everything. So I just try to show you duty free shops and escalators going from here and there. Uh, uh, there, uh, I, I will be recording more videos of Musk International Airport upon my return. Mm. Fantastic, super. And you'll find different type of chocolates, different type of uh, souvenirs, a uh, lot of things. It's a complete package. It's a complete package for the passengers traveling from any country. They'll find uniqueness. They'll find something different. They will find uh, colors of Oman. And each country has its own colors, its own uh, flavors for the uh, uh, for the tourists, for the passenger, for the people from uh, across the globe. Really amazing, and in brief, Moscow International Airport is excellent in all the respects.
just come and explore Moscow International Airport, Airport Lovers. And take care. Goodbye. See you very soon. And do subscribe to my YouTube channel.